After months and months of drought, most Central Texans are grateful for this week's rain and the others we have seen lately. But down in Guadalupe County, 83-year-old Bill Carroll is also happy to see the rain. But Jim Swift tells us Carroll wouldn't mind a little break in the weather. You strike me as a pretty tough old boy. Well, I used to, I used to was. <laughs> 83-year-old Bill Carroll didn't always carry himself with a cane. The fact of the matter is, when he had a restaurant on this very spot of land some years back, he had to deal with drunks who suddenly showed up and started harassing his customers. And I'd jerk them up by the stack and swivel and take them outside and beat the hell out of them. And I hurt one of them real bad. I mean, bad, bad. Nowadays... Carol fights a different set of ruffians. I have uh, beginning stages of dementia, and I have the middle stages of COPD, and second stage of lung cancer. He also has some allies in that fight employees and volunteers from the only non profit hospice center in nearby San Marcos. One of them is volunteer coordinator, Abby Hurst. How are you? Right. Hospice services, it's not a place you, you go to die. It's a place you live your life, and you live it to the fullest. I accept the inevitable. I mean, you've got to go, you got to go, you know, when your time's here. But in the time Bill Carroll has left, he often thinks about a ride in a hot air balloon, something he's just never done. And when folks from the Hospice Dream a Dream program asked if they could make a wish come true for him, he pointed to the sky, only to have the sky fall in on him. Maybe we ought to cancel this balloon ride and go for a submarine dive. <laughs> <laughs> because of all the rain and everything. So many mornings I've called him and said, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to cancel. The weather's not good. And, and then I hang up the phone and I'm almost in tears because I don't like to disappoint him. It's extremely frustrating. And though the clock is ticking, no one here is listening. I just know that it's going to happen because it's the right thing to do and it's going to happen. Yeah, the weather can't keep up like this forever. I mean, it'll dry up. Jim Swift, KXAN News. Central Texas Medical Center's hospice program is paid for by the annual Hats Off for Hospice fundraiser. This year's event is planned for April 15th, and you can learn how to join in through a link with this story on our website. You'll find it on the Texas tab at KXAN.com.